from where you're from where you're at right now, do you feel that uh, that the goals are clear in the minds of those that are that are participating in these uprisings? Uh, do you feel like that that everybody's on the same page with say you and move, or do you feel like move has an obligation to uh, to kind of bring people up to speed? I guess you could say. People got their own. People got their every group and organization that's out there. They have their own agenda. They have their own interests. They have their own desires. But some of those align with the bigger picture that most of the people are out there for. Everybody that's out there is out there for justice. Some people want to see it when it comes to protection for black people. Some people want to see it when it comes to uh, the police being defunded. Some people see justice as eliminating the chokehold. Some people see justice as looting and rioting. Everybody has their own idea as to what justice or the reaction to injustice looks like to them. But what everybody is out there for is to take a stand against an oppressive system and fight back. Okay, uh, what in uh, what would be the next steps that you would ask people to engage in? If you were to speak directly to people that are activated, that are doing things right now, uh, where would you ask them to direct their attention, their focus in this fight? Trying to control or direct the people is like trying to control a herd of wild buffalo. What you mm-hmm. what what you want to do is you want to get that herd to focus its power on the direction that you need it to go in. What I will say is you cannot stop the buffalo. You can only hope to get their attention enough so that number one, you're not stampeded over, and number two. They don't want to run wild and out of control and unorganized. The goal for me would be to say every single person out there should keep one very important thing in mind. The system is going to try to uh, give us things like removing a statue or they're going to try to do things like pass a law to say no chokeholds. Or they're going to say things like we're going to reprimand the police. And what I'm saying is this. Apology without action is meaningless. I don't care how many statues they take down. If they're going to employ the same mentalities that, that the statues of the people represent, then they might as well leave the statues. If you're not going to stop the violence that's happening against black people in this country, then what are you taking a statue down for? You know what I'm saying? Like, they took down the statue of Frank Rizzo in Philadelphia. And here in the city of Philadelphia, people rejoice. But the people should not forget that Frank Rizzo, the man, was involved in over thousands, thousands of black men and women being arrested on jumped up charges. They are still in prison today, 30 and 40 years later. Mia Abu Jamal in particular had 15 of the 35 officers that was in his investigative case investigation, they were brought up on charges, fired, and did prison time for mis- uh, relying on about cases, for intimidating witnesses, for, for misconduct, you know, so uh, the, the prosecutor, Joseph McGill, was disbarred for prosecutorial misconduct. And these are all people under Frank Rizzo. They were all part of his regime. He put them there. Those are the cops that 
flew that helicopter over our house and dropped a bomb and killed 11 people. So if people are going to get apologies from the system, the city, for those atrocities, what is the point of apologizing when those people, such as Mumia Abu-Jamal, is still in prison 38 years later? Mumia Abu-Jamal had been in prison for so long that when he went to prison, his oldest child was in grade school. And now his child is a grandparent. And it's all because of the regime of Frank Rizzo. So I will say to the protesters, stay focused on getting results. Apology without action is meaningless. If a police officer takes a knee but doesn't take one of his uh, constituents to prison for choking uh, Eric Garner to death, for, for shooting Mike Brown to death, for strangling and breaking the back of Freddie Gray, for killing Sandra Bland, for allowing George Zimmerman to walk when he killed Trevor Lodge. If the police are not going to arrest those people, but they're going to take a knee and act as if the knee is good enough, that is absolutely ridiculous. You best believe that when the police are targeted and one of them is shot and killed, even just by accident, even if it was unintentional, even if it didn't happen at all, by a person that wanted to kill them, they come out in force and in mass, and they come with, for blood. So I don't understand how it's right for the police to be violent, but for protesters, they say we have to be non-violent. When it comes to the police, they can, they, have, they, they feel justified and attack people, but when civilians do, you know, the criminals, the violence. So, for the people out there, keep in mind, apology without action is meaningless.